kids' educational games. Hi, welcome to the course Measuring Your Playground. I am Measure Mike, your measuring buddy. I am here to explore new things in math, answer your questions and definitely be your friend. However, first we need to reach the soccer playground. Come on, let's go! Have you ever wondered how big the objects around you are? I'm sure you would like to learn the different ways of measuring them. Come on and join me to learn measuring objects around you. Now that you're in the soccer field, can you guess its shape? Great! You guessed it right. The soccer field is a rectangle. A rectangle is a four-sided figure with opposite sides being equal. The soccer field is too big, so think how much fence you would require to enclose the soccer field. You can solve this problem by finding out the perimeter of the field. The perimeter of a rectangle is the distance around the outside of the rectangle. For example, the perimeter of the soccer field is the distance around the outside of the field indicated by the red line. Perimeter is measured in appropriate measurement units, such as feet, yards, inches, or meters. You can use different units of measurement, such as centimeter, meter, inch, and yard, depending on the object you wish to measure. The table displayed on the screen shows different units of measurement and some common objects you can measure with those units. Now, let's calculate the perimeter of the soccer field. You can use my magical ruler for this. Let's measure the length of one side of the field. Yeah, as you can see, the length of side B is 70 yards. Since the two sides of a rectangle are equal, the length of side D is also 70 yards. Similarly, let's now measure the width of one side of the field. The width of side A of the soccer field is 40 yards. Since the two sides of a rectangle are equal, the width of side C is also 40 yards. Take a look at the first formula for calculating the perimeter of a rectangle. Based on the formula, the perimeter of the soccer field is 2 multiplied by 70 yards plus 2 multiplied by 40 yards. It becomes 140 yards plus 80 yards, which is equal to 220 yards. Now, look at the second formula for calculating the perimeter of a rectangle. According to the second formula, the sum of 70 yards and 40 yards is multiplied by 2, which becomes 2 multiplied by 110 yards, which is again equal to 220 yards. You can use these formulae to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. Hey, I have a great puzzle here. Click I'm through after you have solved it. Match the types of unit of measurement with the objects they can be used to measure. Centimeters Yards Inches Miles. Bravo! That's correct! 
Let's try another exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. A rectangular backyard has a length of 30 yards and a width of 20 yards. Find its perimeter. Select the correct answer from the ones below. A. 80. B. 50. C. 100. D. 60. C. 100. Congratulations, you've got it right! We are done with calculating the perimeter of the playground. Wouldn't you like to know the area of the soccer field you're playing in? I'm sure you would. Before doing that, let's take a look at the definition of a rectangular object. A rectangle is a four-sided figure with opposite sides being equal. To calculate the area of a rectangle, multiply its length with its width. Area is measured in square units. A square unit is a square in which each side has a length of one unit. The area of an object is the number of unit squares it takes to cover the object. You can use different units of measurement such as square centimeter, square meter, square inch and square yard depending on the object you wish to measure. The table displayed on the screen shows different units of measurement and some common objects you can measure with those units. Now, let's measure the area of the soccer field. I will share my ruler with you for this. Let's measure the length of one side of the field. Yeah! As you can see, its length is 70 yards. Let's now measure the width of the field. This is 40 yards. Take a look at the formula for calculating area. Based on the formula, the area of the soccer field is 70 yards multiplied by 40 yards which is equal to 2800 square yards. Hey, I have a great puzzle here. Click I'm through after you've solved it. Match the types of unit of measurement with the objects they can be used to measure. Square centimeters. Square meters. Square inches. Square miles. Bravo! That's correct! Let's try another exercise now. Click I'm through when you are done. A rectangular book has a width of 6 inches and length of 10 inches. Find its area. Area of the book, 60 square inches. Bravo! That's correct! Congratulations! We are done with calculating the area of your playground.